This is the Krillcast. I'm Chris. This is Kuro with the Minute Channel. I'm Dan. And I'm just sitting here with the nice steelbook copy of King of Fighters 14. Did you guys know that was the first Atlas steelbook? Also, oh, hey guys, I'm Spencer. <laughs> Classic Spencer. All right, today on uh, Tuber Tuesday, we're going to review LaRue, but before we get into that, uh, why doesn't the uh, Midnight Channel and everybody else just quickly tell me what you want to say about your channel? If you don't want to say anything, that's fine, too. Just say pass. I don't care. Whatever you want to do. <laughs> Yo, um, David, trying to cover anything Atlas News. There you go. SMT 52021. Let's go. <laughs> uh, Spencer... Uh, talk about games, talk about Vitas, talk about Steelbooks. Sometimes Chun Li's thighs. I don't know when, but I'm not saying I'm never gonna talk about Chun Li's thighs. <laughs> oh, man, whenever you do that that uh, podcast, please invite me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so today we're talking about Larue. Speaking of a channel who never talks about thighs. <laughs> no, no, this is not the channel for you if you're looking for thighs. All right, so Larue has 5.36 thousand subscribers. Created his channel August second, second August twelfth, twenty fifteen, and he currently has three hundred three thousand plus views. If you want to find him, youtube.com slash larue. But I think if you type in youtube.com slash digino tensei, that comes up too. Let me find I, I was just about to ask him, like, did, were any of you oh. all aware of larue before he was uh, digino tensei? I mean, sorry, before larue, or is anyone aware of digino tensei? Yeah, I, I just I only knew the you know Tensei. I didn't know the Larue and the you know Tensei were the same. Uh, like I always I always like to share his his little uh, did you know things that he did and everything on Facebook, but I never knew him as Larue until like recently. Yeah, same. Well, recently it's been I've been following him on Twitter for a while, but I uh, learned about him from from Twi- from Facebook first. Yeah, I discovered both sides of his content creation at the same time through spencer <laughs> I'll be I, uh, I have a very weird like personal thing of it because i know larue even before digital tensei is like a real actual human being uh, LaRue, uh larue was on the smtn facebook group for a very very long time i mean he still is but uh that did you know tensei started out of uh every now and then people would just be like oh hey i'm gonna do like themed posts every week or so and like some people would do like demon uh, mythology talks or people would like, like do like trivia we'd have like show and tell stuff and that's kind of where did you know tensei sort of started so it was really really fun of like uh have i remember even like having him on the podcast talking about it when it was just like a facebook page and then it's been really really cool just yeah watching his channel then kind of become like uh, whether it be like the Hello Fellow Mega Tennis po- like podcast or just like kind of getting away from just trivia and the, like history stuff as well. So it's been really cool, like not only like kind of just like having a like no know- knowing him as like a friend for so long, but kind of like seeing him transfer like transform from like one side into another, but still talking about like the same thing. Yeah. So I'm going to read his about tab real quick. Um, let me see here. Let's see what he has in here. Welcome fellow mega tennists. This channel is dedicated to Atlas content. There you go, Spencer. Hello, fellow mega tennists, the monthly podcast where we discuss Sega Atlas news and answer fan questions. Mega 10 minute deep dives into specific lore and topics, fusion accidents, shorter dives into news, commentary, and drama, and then creators history of Atlas staff and their work. Let's draw demons drawing live stream. His, when was his last let's draw demons live stream? It's been a while. Hasn't he- it? He did one a couple of days ago. I don't know if he put it on his Probably channel, Twitch, but I know right? he did. Yeah, he he does a okay. lot of Twitch as well. Okay. Yeah. I think I saw that on Twitch. I don't think I saw it on, on the channel. I, was say, I haven't seen his Let's Draws on here in a long time. Um, so what is LaRue known for? Maybe I shouldn't be the one to describe him since you guys probably all know him a little better than I do, but I'm going to give it a shot here and correct me if I get anything really wrong. So what is LaRue known for is discussions on Atlas related subjects, um, gaming history, especially in regards to Megaton and Atlas in general, um, being a very positive and encouraging voice in the community. Please don't disagree with me on that one. Cause uh, don't want LaRue to get <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Lear is a very genuine guy. He loves the Jack Bros, especially Jack Frost and everything Atlas. The only other thing I would add is a fun LaRue fact. He has a private Facebook group for De- uh, Demi Kids fans. 
like a Demi Kids fan group, and he is the only one, and is the locked group, so he can be the only one in the world known as the only Demi Kids fan. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> or I joined that group. I actually like Demi Kids game. Um, it's a really fun game. Um, I, I'll say like I really love his this you know Tensei uh, bits that he does outside of YouTube. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good point. I should have put that in there too. Um, do you guys know what his oldest video is? I, n- I don't. It's this one right here. Megami Tensei Trivia 1 Digital Devil Story. It's got a thousand views, which is pretty good for his being a first video of a channel with 5,000 subscribers. I've actually seen somewhere it's like somebody's got a million subscribers and their first video has 200 views. So, you know, it, it's all over the place with people's first videos, right? But LaRue, good job with 1,000 on your first video. That's pretty awesome. Um, and essentially awesome. it's just facts and trivia about digital devil story. So that's evergreen content. So at least it'll always rack up a couple of views. That, that word you used right there. I don't know if he had said that when he was last on the crowcast, he loves the term evergreen content. I, I always find it so funny of like, I feel like my content is like the opposite of that. Of like, he, his whole thing, and we've talked about this before, like privately of like, he, he wants to like always make, the podcast is always kind of a disposable thing because, like, it, I feel like oh, and no matter who you are, as soon as a podcast is live, it's already outdated, you know, just because you're talking about current events, whether it be opinions or situations happening. But, like, for his videos, Larry definitely, definitely goes out of his way of, like, I want these videos to still hold up, whether it be five years ago or, like, five five months from now. Yeah, that's kind of why our podcast does it differently is specifically for that reason, so that our podcast is actually listenable well after we produce it so what is his most popular video is everything we know so far about smt5 which i'm sure he wishes that was not his most popular video based on talking to him because this is the type of video that after smt5 comes out people aren't going to watch this video I don't know, man. You, still, you still got a couple of years left for that <laughs> you got, got a couple more views in there you still got a year or two before he gets old. <laughs> I have a very funny story to say about this particular video of his. Um, everything you know about SMT5 so far, well, I did a video on my channel which was very similar to that one. It was like everything that we know about SMT5 so far or something like that. Very similar video. I released it like a week and a half or something before his, and I had like 700 subscribers at the time. It was my best performing video. <laughs> and then it completely stopped getting views at one point. I was like, what's going on? And I saw that LaRue uploaded this one. And it, it killed my <laughs> video. So thank clearly, you. clearly, yeah, the copycat, the copycat killer we have going on. I really <laughs> don't think I really don't uh... think that's the case, to be honest. It was just bad timing <laughs> because for me, I was like, hey, I was getting views. And then he uploaded that one and then boom. But I had like 300 subscribers, so no. What's so funny that you say that, though, I had the inverse happen to me like a couple of weeks ago. So back in, oh, oh my lord, who even knows when this was? I posted in January a video called Everything You Need to Know About Persona 5 Strikers just because I was like, eh, I want to talk about it, obviously represent this game in a good light. And like a week before, no, not even a week before, I think it was like the day the digital deluxe version came out for Strikers. Uh, I'd known LaRue was working on a video with the exact same title. I actually didn't know he was working on the exact same title, but it's like, that saying everything you need to know about blank or everything we know about blank is far from like so like it's not like it's known for one channel but what's so funny about that is when he posted that's what the video was going to be about someone like commented on his twitter saying hey spencer did a video with that exact same title <laughs> it was so funny because like so because like somebody like reply somebody replied to him and went well you know he's friends with you know he's friends with larue he probably he probably just took it from Rue the idea, and I'm like, yeah, <laughs> we're, we're stealing the very, uh, very common idea of, a, all right, guys, I'm going to do a tier video. No one else on YouTube could do a tier video. Only I could do tier videos. Oh, uh, but you know what's really funny about that? It's the same thing happens to me with you all the time. Like, you will make a video, like, something specifically, like, almost a title word for word, and I'm like, well, Spencer's always ahead of me, so here's his video. It, it's, funny, it's, always funny, it's always funny when you bring that up because like 
Chris, I envy you because like, I think it would be very hard for you guys to ever have a podcast topic that like another podcast did, you know? Like, it happened. Like, even it happened. Your... It happened. So I got I to gotta know who was it. We created, I'm not going to give away who it was because that would be, I, I, I respect the person and I'm, I'm like, I think it was totally by accident, but we actually did a topic with him and he must have forgotten we did it with him because in between the week when the podcast was waiting to come out he made the exact same video on his channel of the topic we were covering with him and i messaged him i was like really like what were you thinking That's funny. <laughs> Wait, but oh, you, like, the, the, the funniest part about it is just like what, like her whenever you'll message me about that because like the most work i'll do besides researching a topic will just be like okay i type in my video title does anyone else have this title up? Okay, then I won't. <laughs> so because in my head, like that, that, that's about that's about it. But like, it, even in situations like this, it's just so funny. Of like, um, <laughs> of like, yeah, it's like I I can't think of any like topic that's like obviously yeah. Like if you started something, if you have a specific thing, like go for it. But like the the funny things is is like you were mentioning like how Lou probably wishes. Uh, everything you need to know about SMT5 isn't like his big one. The one that always comes back to it, we talk about is the Sega Prank Club. He did a video about the Sega Prank Club, and it was just so funny. Like, I remember how excited he was for that video. And even before it was up, we were both talking about, like, yeah, it's probably not going to do well, but man, I'm excited for that video. Yeah, he's he's definitely into some things that are very niche audiences. And Mm -hmm. you'll get every view from that niche audience and then the video will die because yeah. after you hit the you've hit the ultimate amount of people that are ever going to be interested in this topic there are literally no other people interested in the topic mm-hmm. and so the more niche you go the more likely you'll hit the audience but at the same time the smaller the audience the less views it will get and i think he's one of those channels where he treads that line between niche subjects and like small audiences where mm-hmm. He hits these very specific subjects like Sega Print Club, and he gets all of the views in regards to that particular subject. But there's not as big of an audience as, like, say, Persona and Shin Megami Tensei as there are, you know, (laughs) in regards to, like, specifically size. It's like the amount of views he gets on these types of videos are probably the most you could get on these types of videos. But I do appreciate his type of content. Like, I feel like some of those videos are, like, almost his best work. Because this is the stuff that probably almost nobody will ever make on that subject. And that, like, I, I really appreciate that from him. Like, the this, the little bits of... And that's actually the same thing with Spencer. Like, the, the little bits of knowledge that they talk about and stuff like that. I'm like, I really appreciate your knowledge on this random or yet interesting subject that I probably wouldn't even Google in my life. When I have these conversations with you or with LaRue, I'm like, yeah, this is the kind of stuff that I, I subscribe on your channels for. <laughs> so so just kind of curious with you guys, what's like one video like each of you guys would love to see him cover? Like the one and I've always like been like half-heartedly joking with about that I just want him to do just because I think it's so funny is uh, there is a person who wrote a lot of the Persona 4 songs, the lyrics, called Benjamin Franklin. His real name is Benjamin Franklin. It's like a white guy who lives in Japan. And I was like, dude, you got to do a video on Ben Franklin. Because he's got like a script. He says, he told me, he says, I have a script about this. But it's just, you got to imagine that's real low in the total pool. Like, here's the bottom. It's lower than that. Like, you got to imagine that the view for that is going to be me and then maybe my second account. <laughs> I want to see LaRue do a um, Jack Frost song. That'd be interesting. I'd be I don't, I don't know if he's in like music and all that, but I would love to hear him oh, write. Dude, he'll, he, I mean, if you ever watch any of his like, Twitch streams, he will like bust out the karaoke for almost every one of them. <laughs> You're right. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, LaRue, get, get in contact with me on this. We'll make, we'll make a Jack Frost song together. Yeah. Uh, that'll be the, uh, that'll be super cool. Uh, I messaged him actually about the subject that I want. I want him to cover more of the the Kuzunoha, uh, Raido like the family history. He made a video about it, and I was like, "Can you finish your series on this? Because I really want to know more about it." <laughs> so I literally messaged him about it. That was like the last time I talked to him about 
uh, like a video idea for him and was like, can you do this? <laughs> he was like, I'm I'm still working on that. I was like, all right, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely like the, the biggest uh, Kazuma Kaneko's art or in general person on YouTube, in my opinion, in regards to coverage. Mm -hmm. But I don't. And he said this before. He's like, I don't know that there's a big audience for this content. And he said, I, I want there to be, but I don't know that there is. So, like, I can't. I would like these videos. I just mm -hmm. can't. Um, I can't ask him to do them because I, I know, like, the amount of effort that goes into it for the amount of uh, recognition he gets for it. You know what I mean? Right. I mean, so it's hard uh, for me to ask like, for the video it. that you showed just now, twenty six hundred video views on a five thousand. Uh, subscribers, that's not bad. That's a few, yeah. Hundred. But he puts in enough effort that he should be getting yeah. like you know tens of thousands of views on these videos because he puts in a lot of work, yeah. Definitely, all right. So, what do you guys think LaRue could improve upon with his channel? It's hard to say, it's doing well. I mean, it's quality stuff, so yeah. His, his work is really like well known, like, I love his research. Like you said, the amount of work that goes into this this uh, uh, type of videos that he does. It's not like a throwaway video. He does make content that will last for a while. Uh, the one thing that I'll say, and I, I say this for a lot of people, the thumbnails could be better. Uh, but that's like everybody. Like I, I'm so like hard on myself on like thumbnails. I'm like, I, I worked on, uh, I literally make, made a post about it today. But I was like, I, I spent like hours just making a thumbnail today. And I was like, I love this thumbnail. But I don't know if I will put the same amount of work on every thumbnail. You know, like it's like a stupid thing, but it does grab people into it. Uh, but that's like the only thing that I can come up with. His content is just so good that I don't think he needs like a change of formula or anything. I think he needs to keep growing his hair out. It's not, <laughs> it's not stopping. I just had him on the podcast like a week ago, and we were like, until he gets to like he man lengths, I think like that's that's gonna be like the best. That's like the best uh, result we can get. The he man length, yeah. There you go. My my um my only kind of thing for him, and this is always a weird one of especially of, like critiquing like your friends and stuff. Um, cause yeah, I like the I like the type of videos he does a lot. It's definitely like it's fitting that niche that there's not a lot of other people kind of doing. Cause even like the stuff like I'll talk about is gonna be different than the stuff he talks about. Like it's like, I cannot like outside of the strikers video, I cannot think of a single time either of us have had overlap some types of videos. It's just very, they're very different. Um, which is especially funny because like we both do a podcast around the same series, but obviously his is monthly and mine is weekly. But like his is like it's very, very rarely even focused on the news. And when it is, it's more of like his last couple of uh, Hello Fellow Megatons podcasts have been like spoiler casts of like older games like they just did Catherine. So I would like, um, or like, like, I would like, um, I don't know. It, it's one of those things that I think I'm always surprised how rare people ever talk about his podcast. So it'd be kind of cool to hear more people kind of talk about his, but it is one of those ones of like, it's always kind of tough because even though, like I said, it is monthly, it's not like it's every month. Cause like we even joked about when he was on mine, it was like, oh, I guess it's going to be your podcast for the month. Cause it was like, oh, there's not going to be one for February. So it's just one of those things of like, um, I, I would, I would like to see if possible, like more people can kind of get into it. But, uh, also, I have absolutely no idea how, because like I said, I'm not a, not I'm barely even an expert of uh, getting my own podcast uh, somewhat relevant in the world. So it's the uh, <laughs> different ebbs and flows, but you know, it would be it would be kind of cool because it is it is always funny of like, and, and you guys probably kind of uh, attest to that with like less frequently uploaded podcasts of like, do you guys ever like put more conscientious effort into it because it's sort of spaced out or when you're doing a podcast is it always or does it almost kind of feel like it's just another video so our podcast so i don't know if, a lot of people don't seem to know this um but we have actually a really large audio only audience for all of our videos so sometimes i'll catch myself like not describing what's on the screen and i'll just be laughing at something and i'll be like oh the audio listeners aren't going to get this at all um so i guess i'm conscientious about that but in regards to a podcast versus these videos like it's basically five segments of a podcast split between five days 
released on five separate occasions and so i don't really focus a whole lot on trying to make it like an a flow across it and people mm -hmm. still for some reason listen to the audio version even though there's no flow to it and that's okay <laughs> that's i'm happy you guys i'm happy you guys exist <laughs> we have like over 150 audio listeners that's great for for a audio only podcast that's actually pretty good I've been trying to like work on my podcast, but I don't really know where to go from uh, as far as like a podcast thing. Like I was like, what do I have to do to make it more? Uh, I don't know. There's like a lot of stuff that I have to do on the podcast, but uh, it's not my biggest priority. But uh, I, I really like you guys podcast. It's like a really interesting way of you guys doing it. And I, I listen to uh, Spencer all the time. I show up when they come. It's funny enough. I, I show up whenever he's talking about me or talking about a subject around me. <laughs> Your ears are burning. You can tell. <laughs> I just randomly crash Spencer's podcast, and then most of the time he doesn't even notice that I'm there. So that's fine. I I I, I appreciate uh, in anybody could ever come. The fact that the fact that any podcast they ever do has more than one view, and it always continues to amaze me. Yeah. Anyways, I, I think it would be cool to see more. <sighs> More LaRue collaboration videos. I think he, between his dynamic and like bringing even like you, Spencer, you know, so many like random things, like very specific things. And so does he. If you guys could find a subject that, that you both want to cover together that would fit both of your niches, I think you guys could really see some cool stuff between it's, the two it, of you. It's really funny you say that because like I, I need to like talk to him about this. Like, because like I mentioned, I just had him on the podcast, and for like the first time, it had been almost like over. A, it had actually been like uh, fourteen months in between his last podcast trip. But what's so funny about it was, like you mentioned, yeah, we're both really, really passionate. We both know a lot about the same things, and like, like our passions kind of like differ in certain aspects. Where, but a lot of our knowledge overlaps. But what's so funny is, I feel like every time I bring up the podcast, it just perfectly lines up with us enough to sound like we're just complaining about everything. Because our knowledge normally, when it comes to talk about current <laughs> events, is like, oh man, yeah, they really flubbed this up, or oh god, they should have done this better, and stuff like that. It's very rare like we're talking like we're, like the two of us doing a deep dive together on something i think would be really funny but we just like we have to pull ourselves away from like either being hypercritical about something makes sense so what do you guys think uh larue's channel will do by the end of 2021 where's his subscriber count gonna be david let's hear from you um subscribers count how many he has like 6k right 5.36. Yeah, 5.3. 5.3. Um, at the end of the year, depending on what we're getting this year, whether we're getting S and five or not, I'd say probably 10k for sure if he keeps it up with this pace. He's gonna have I think to do it's gonna another be a big year for S and stuff. So if he's going all in, it's gonna bring some success for sure, for sure. He'll have to do his updated everything we know about S M T five so far by the end of twenty twenty one. <laughs> my, my my favorite video where he like says something that just makes me laugh way more than he had any intention he did a like everything we know about project refantasy and he's like guys i've read the interviews it's coming it's it's almost done guys we're we're almost there and i <laughs> i'll always remember that quote of just like oh, oh the room it's so not it's so far away you know what uh when did he say that I think that video is probably like a year, a year old. old. Yeah, oh, it was like man. A probably year more than that, actually. Yeah, you know what? I was I was as, <laughs> as positive as he was about it until now. Like I, on, until last year, I was still kind of like, yeah, we're gonna hear some re fantasy news, and like 2020 passed, and they didn't talk, they didn't talk about it. Um, actually, 2019 happened. And they said they were going to talk about it. And they were smart. And then last year, they said they weren't going to talk about it. So this year, they said they weren't going to talk about it again. So <laughs> we'll see about that. Look, I love how literally the two videos, when you type in LaRue, Project Ari Fantasy, the first one is everything I know so far. And then is it coming to the Switch? Probably not. <laughs> That's the second <laughs> video right below it. <laughs> fun, fun fact before we move off LaRue. Most people don't know this. A vehement vehement dislike for the nintendo switch he does not like that system at all i find myself like almost never playing mine you know i basically only play my vita at this point yeah same, same here i even though i when the switch came out 
I was like, this may be the this, the next beta for me, you know, particularly for me with the games that I play and everything. And uh, the more years pass with the Switch, the less game I get for it. Like, I, I always is like, well, do I want to play this on console or on the Switch? And then I end up getting the, the PS4 version of, of the game or PC. Uh, so, yeah, Switch is definitely not, like, my, my biggest choice either. All right. So my prediction for LaRue is SMT5 comes out, he hits 10K. SMT5 doesn't come out, 7.5K. See, I thought you were saying whenever it does come out, he'll have 10K. So, like, if we just keep, like, uh, sorry, guys, it's SMT5 can't come out, LaRue doesn't have 10K yet. You got to wait till he hits 10K and then it'll come out. <laughs> no, you know what? That's a good point you bring. Because the longer it takes for them to um, to release SMT5, his video will continue to be evergreen. That is true. Until that point. So you got to think about it that the longer that, the more views that video is going to come out until then. All right. Anybody else got anything else you want to say about LaRue or to LaRue? I'm a fan. I'm a big fan. <laughs> LaRue, keep like he- up what you do. He's one of the very few YouTubers I knew, uh, like I I seen before I started my YouTube channel. So yeah, I like like his work a lot. Spencer, David, anything else? I'm good. I love I love you. <laughs> As always, <laughs> I'm Chris. Subscribe to Larue. I'm Kuro. I'm David. Larue, please come back. I miss you. It's been so long. (laughs) And we will see you on the next LaRue cast.